at some point, scientists got together and decided on what type of units that they're going to use for different types of measurements. And this is just so that we can all talk the same language um, for science, no matter where you're at on, on the planet. So the international system of units, also called SI units, is based off the metric system. And once again, this is just an uh, arbit arbitrary decision that they, um, you know, all these measurements are just unified. So with this, here is uh, the three main ones or four main ones that we're going to be looking at. So uh, length is in meters, uh, the mass is in kilogram, time is going to be in seconds, and temperature is going to be in Kelvin. And so we're going to talk about Kelvin temperatures a little bit more here in just a second. So with these, there are um, different ways so we're going to have say with meters we can talk about a small amount or a very very large amount and so we use what's called S SI prefix multipliers so if I need to talk about a large number of meters I can use a prefix to discuss that so if I want to talk about um, uh, kilometers I take a meter and I multiply it by 10 to the third there's many, many different types of SI prefix multipliers, so you can find a list of that, but in reality, these are kind of the four that we you, will we be using uh, quite a bit. So kilo means that we're multiplying by 10 to the third um, as an SI, SI prefix multiplier. Centi means 10 to the minus second. Milli means 10 to the minus third. And nano means 10 to the minus ninth. So here, if I say I have one kilogram, uh, it is a, a gram, which is our SI unit, times the prefix multiplier, which is 10 to the third. So if I say I have one kilogram, that means I have 1,000 grams. Same thing if I say I have one centimeter, so the SI unit is a meter. Um, if I say I have one centimeter, the multiplier is times 10 to the minus second. So I take my one, so I have one centimeter, one times 10 to the minus second. That's my multiplier. That means one centimeter is 0.01 meters. So this gives us the ability to talk about large numbers of our SI units or very, very small um, amounts of our SI units just by using a multiplier. And in here, these are uh, going to be the most common, but there are um, you know quite a few of them. 